and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, I'm Robin, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we are doing our best to thrive and also to connect with others while we're practicing social distancing. So as I've talked to you about before, we are taking this as an opportunity to slow down and to really enjoy our time here at home. And as you can see, this is breakfast and Austin is over there getting fed by Patrick. And I am fixing some overnight steel cut oats. And I will have the link for my video on that recipe in the cards above if you guys are interested in that. I made that video a long time ago, so it's worth a few laughs just to watch it. But it's become pretty popular because this is a really great way to enjoy steel cut oats. I used to only make this recipe on the weekends because it does take quite a long time to make steel cut oats from scratch in the morning when everybody's busy trying to get ready. So this recipe cuts down on that time significantly. It takes about maybe five minutes to prep the night before and only five or 10 minutes in the morning. And of course I always enjoy a nice cup of coffee in the morning and so I'm still enjoying those simple pleasures. So as I'm fixing breakfast here, I will talk to you guys a little bit about what I mean as far as thriving and connecting while practicing social distancing. Here in the Austin area, we are now under orders to shelter in place, which is basically what my family has already been doing. So we only go out for the bare essentials when we absolutely have to. We're very fortunate that we can work from home. Our son, Kyle, is home from college and he is able to do his college courses from home. And Peyton is able to do some of his work for big here at home. So we are enjoying our time together and our mornings are a lot more relaxed. <laughs> we don't have to rush to go anywhere so we can enjoy our breakfasts and just start the day in a very relaxed way. I know you guys are going to ask me about this great grapefruit knife. I've had this for years. It came from the Pampered Chef and I found a similar one and put it in my Amazon store so if you guys are looking for one you can find the link to my Amazon store in the description box. I was a stay-home mom and full-time homemaker while my kids were growing up, and that can be very isolating. So I have learned some strategies on how to stay connected and how to thrive while spending most of your day at home. And I think that these are helping me cope with the current situation. And so I'm just going to share some of my thoughts with you on that. We are so blessed to have technology at our fingertips that allows us to connect with people. So definitely be using that. Reach out to friends with, you know, more than just a phone call, doing FaceTime where you can see each other. It makes a huge difference. And we try to do that with our parents so that they don't feel isolated because they're being extra careful to stay inside. And of course our kids know to do this. They're connecting with their friends and staying in touch. And so we can definitely learn from them how to use that even more now to help us feel connected. And so for instance, I have a long time enjoyed my yoga classes, but of course we can't meet. So my yoga teacher set up a meeting on Zoom where we can all participate in the class at home. And this was so much fun. It was just really neat to connect with everyone. It didn't go flawless. There were some glitches here and there, but that's one of the great things about yoga. It really teaches you to stay focused and to learn how to block out all of the disruptions. And I found it physically really nice just to be able to do some gentle stretches and you know get the blood flowing early in the morning and I'm really looking forward to being able to meet with my class on a regular basis so if you were participating in an activity like that it could be something physical like yoga or a book club or anything like that I would encourage you to start a meeting online with your friends and we use zoom so you guys can just Google Zoom. It's super easy to join. It's completely free. I love it. <laughs> so my whole family is actually using it for various purposes and I will show you how we did that. Right after my yoga class, I had a meeting scheduled with my Bible study, and this was so good. We haven't been able to meet for a couple of weeks now, so just to see everyone's face and connect again was just so refreshing. And we had time to discuss our reading over the last couple weeks, and I would definitely encourage you to start a Bible study with some friends. This is the perfect time. You probably have more time that you could devote to Bible study than ever before. My group is just simply reading through the Bible 
Bible and we are using the YouVersion Bible app and their reading plan called the Bible Recap. And I will have all of the information about that linked in the description box so you can learn more about it. There's also a podcast that goes along with it and I'll have that linked below too. Peyton is still able to work on cutting out the labels for the soap that his group at Big makes. And I'll have some information about Big linked in the description box too. I always love to promote them, you guys know. So there are links to their online store where you guys can buy this soap and all of the other wonderful things that they have available at their online shop. But this has been really wonderful for him to stay productive at home and keep himself, you know, mentally and physically occupied for part of the day. And another thing that has been wonderful is that they are meeting on Zoom as well. And so they had their first meeting this week and it was really fun to see Peyton connect with his friends there. I am not sponsored by Zoom in any way, but I think they are being very generous at this time to offer this free service so that people can gather together virtually. And I would encourage you for maybe your kids or your parents or anybody that is feeling disconnected from their friends to start a group. It can just be a time for everybody to talk, to see each other's faces. It's wonderful, so check that out. Now that Kyle is home from school, his online courses have started. They're continuing the rest of the semester online, and so that works really well. He can have the dining room because we were really only using that for family game night, and we can easily move to a different area and let him use this space. And he's using Zoom as well. He's a senior, he has a capstone project, and to meet with that group, that's how they're getting it done. In my years of experience as a stay-home mom and full-time homemaker, I learned early on the importance of keeping my mind active by engaging in creative projects. This helps combat boredom and feelings of isolation. So cooking is something that I have always loved to do. It was a great creative outlet and it served my family. So I amassed a small collection of favorite cookbooks, which I used to use more frequently in meal planning and even used as bedtime reading material. That's how much I love those. But this time the challenge is a little bit different. Lots of times lately I have ingredients and I need to fit a recipe to the ingredients that I have. So I can search the index of a recipe book you know, for the ingredients that I have on hand and find some recipes. Oftentimes I'll have to adapt them, but it's really fun, it's challenging, and the results are often amazing. I've also compiled a huge notebook of recipes that I've tried and that my family really likes in this binder. And so there are things that I've cut out of recipe books or out of magazines, I've printed from online or even written myself, and I've organized them into different categories just like a regular cookbook. And I sometimes forget about recipes that I've put in here, so I'm taking the opportunity to kind of peruse that again, pull out recipes that I can adapt for the ingredients that I have on hand and I'll remove the ones that I like and set them aside and that's kind of how I've been meal planning here lately. For dinner tonight I decided to make a vegetable stir fry and I got my recipe out of a pioneer woman cookbook that I have long time loved and I had to make a lot of adjustments to this recipe because I didn't have all of the ingredients but I used broccoli and pineapple and I have to always substitute something for soy sauce because my son can't have soy but there are things that you can do to make a recipe work for the ingredients that you have and this turned out great so I'll have that recipe recipe linked in the description box. I know you guys are looking for ideas too, and you can adapt it any way your family likes and according to the ingredients you have. And 
also don't forget your pets. They could be feeling cooped up too, and they might be sensing some anxiety if you guys are feeling cooped up. So if your community allows and you have a space to do it, take them outside, play with them, give them some extra attention. It's really good for our health too, to interact with our pets like that. So we are enjoying Austin and he is up to his usual antics, which always keeps us entertained. best thing that has come out of this for me is having my family back at home. Kyle is usually away at college or doing internships in the summer, so having time where all four of us can be together, enjoying something on TV, a movie, or just talking at the end of the day has been a huge treat. So focus on the blessings in your life. That will definitely help you get through. That said, I am not taking this situation lightly. I know that a lot of people are suffering at this time and that it is very scary for a lot of people and that people are further isolated because of the current circumstances. So I just want to encourage you with some ideas that have worked for me and my family. And if you guys want to reach out to me in any way, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can find my email address in the about section of my channel homepage. I look forward to hearing from you and I would love to pray for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you're new, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It's easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.